I don't wanna try it, I'm too late. We don't need a sovereign, it's so slow. I just go to a private show, and you gon' decide when we get blown. I don't wanna try it, I'm too late. Everything will Hi vlog! Baby say hi vlog! Welcome back to my channel, I'm Ashanti. If you're new here, before we get started, you already know what I'm gonna say, you already know what I'm gonna do. Join the squad, join the family, okay? If you're new here, I do self-care, fashion, lifestyle videos, so if any of that interests you, do not hesitate to hit the big red subscribe button below, okay? Okay. All right, now that I've gotten that out of the way, we, this is about to be the start of a weekend vlog. This is Labor Day weekend. This week, we really didn't do anything, so the vlog footage is kind of trash. So we're just gonna start over, and this week's vlog is going to be a weekend vlog. Today is Friday, both of us are off. So we are going to go get us some breakfast. We're going to Hot Betty's. Y'all um, saw me go there during Vlogmas, I think, with um, my friend Courtney and her sister Brandy. So we're going back there. Hopefully it shouldn't be this bad, that bad because it is a weekday. But uh, we're going there and then we're going to the Gucci store. Gonna try to spend some adjust money. <laughs> Oh, and we're gonna actually try on some, um, we're gonna try on some wedding bands today too, so that's exciting. So, just keep watching. Here's a little OOTD. This dress is from Bloom Chic. It's a cute little, it's got like a polo collar, polo dress. My Gucci slides, I've had these for years, and the black Telfar, so that's my OOTD. The baby looks so good. You look cute today. Can we get an OOTD? Hold on, let me get into the light so, uh, I, can see, so I can see. Can we get a little OOTD? Can we get a little OOTD, baby? Um, oh. What's up? Our outfit of the day. Yeah. Okay. Um, so start at the top. Hat by uh, New Era Paper Plane. Uh huh. A little snappy right there. Right. Um, shirt by Armani Exchange. Mm hmm. You know what I'm talking about right there. Shorts by. Good fellow. Yeah, the light salmon right the there. salmon. You can find these at your local Target. Uh-huh. These right right there. You know, got on the uh, the gray Nike uh, dry fits. Can't go wrong with the dry fits, of course, you know. Got to put on the OG. Like and cement Jordan 4s. Um, Sushi, wow. <laughs> yeah, watched by Hugo Boss and a little fo fossil little oh. accent right there. So, Look. you know what I mean? This is baby's Christmas gift. Hold little baby's Christmas gifts. There you go. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get the yeah. bus down right there. You know that's factory right there. Yeah, I can't afford no bus down. <laughs> <laughs> you look good, baby. Thank you, baby. I love you. One thing about us, we gonna have a mimosa. Yeah, baby. <laughs> this is a big glass. I like this glass. I find why I gave you why you need me. I know what you like. I feel it for me. Y'all, baby smash all this food. He smashed all of this. He the biscuit too, and half my biscuit. What? <laughs> Not shaming you. Okay, guys. So we're at the Zales Outlet, and we found our rings, or we found what we think we're gonna have our, as our rings for our wedding bands. We realized that Jeff actually does need a little bit of bling in his ring, and I don't need bling in mine because I have so much bling in my engagement ring. So I'm, I'm gonna, my band is actually gonna be plain. It's gonna be kind of like the one that you think that you wanted. Not think that I wanted the one that I actually wanted, but it's all. Good. So you don't want? You, you, you really don't, don't do that. No, it doesn't. So, the only one that was fifty percent off was his with the diamonds. His with the diamonds. The tungsten is included, excluded from the store wide fifty, and then this one was excluded from it as well. Okay. But they were twenty five percent, and these are typically only ten percent. So you did get a greater discount. Do they do a military discount? We do. Okay. But you can't get it during a store wide sale. Oh, bastards. Okay. <laughs> um but this is his the price of the tungsten. Uh -huh. This is his men's gold with diamonds and the warranty is included in bad. this price. So if you just subtracted the warranty from that. Um How and is then a plain band yours. for me? <laughs> and then this for you is with the warranty. With so the warranty. The with. Okay. That's still not bad for three rings. Mm mm. That's still not bad for doing And so these are the SKUs. So if you look them up online, make sure you're on zalesoutlet.com. Zales, Zales Outlet. they won't pull up. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Look at the bling. 
Do you like that ring, baby? Because if you don't like I that do ring, like it. I ain't gonna lie. I, ain't gonna lie. I, do like it. I think you like that. Don't want to take it off. We are back from the outlets. Um, it took us a long time to get home. It took us a very long time to get home, but we're back. I only got two things from the outlets. The first thing is from the Nike store. <clears throat> and I got these, I don't usually do white sneakers, but I got these space hippies. I think they'll be cute. Cute, but also comfortable to work out. And I'm hoping that they're very comfortable to add to my workout shoe game. Are they cute? These are cute, right? I think they're cute. We will put them to the test tomorrow. And then, went to the Gucci store and I got me, got myself, a new card holder. It's the exact same card holder that I had, just in a different color. I had it in black and I had it in brown, so I just got a black one. Same one I had before. We're about to watch some tennis. I have really been enjoying the US Open. Like, I love Serena Williams, y'all. Like, I love Serena, but I love tennis too. So, fun fact about me, I love watching tennis. So, I'm excited to watch that. And I don't know, we'll check in with you guys later. Last, last. Everybody go to a breakfast. Shy oh, 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 this song is nasty, y'all. <laughs> it's the next day. Um, you guys should have seen me make breakfast for Jeff. Um, but now I am dressed and out of the house. I need to first get gas. I need to write my list of things I need to do today. I'm kind of on my own today because Jeff has to work. So what's new? <sighs> anyway, I need to go get an edge control brush desperately. Like, there's a specific one I'm looking for. But like when my hair grows out of these braids, child, these edges do not stay down. So, so I need a edge control brush desperately. Then I also need to go to Walmart or the grocery store. Then the main event today is I'm hoping that I can find some shapewear because tomorrow is I don't know if I, I told you guys on the vlog yet, but tomorrow is my first bridal appointment. Tomorrow is my very first bridal appointment. I think Ashley is going with me um, and I'm gonna FaceTime my sister but this appointment is not to actually buy a dress this appointment is to figure out what style I like for me it's to rule some things out so that when my best friends my sister and my mom come down to actually help me choose a dress which I'm hoping will be in November um, I have an idea of what I want so that's what this initial appointment is for. I've already told them that. I told them that I'm not purchasing anything in this appointment. This appointment is to literally just try to figure it out. Um, I'm going to this place called Anaya Bridal. Um, I saw a lot of reviews that they were like more in my price range because I really would like to stay under a thousand dollars, but I'm willing to go up to 1500 for my dress. Um, depending on if I, like, it has to be like super snatching, like perfect, but um, I feel like if I stay around a thousand, then with alterations, it'll probably end up, it'll stay under 1500. So, you know, Atlanta is the, the place of BBL, BBL Central. And there's actually a lot of stores in the, um, there are actually a lot of stores in the uh, malls that have shapewear. Usually it's like Fajas and stuff like that. And for my wedding, I wanna be the F snatched, okay? I wanna be snatched. I really plan on losing, I'm really trying to lose like at least minimum 40 pounds. But if I lose 20, I'll be happy. <laughs> but I would like to really truly lose 40 pounds, but I wanna be like snatched regardless. So, um, I need to find some shapewear because I know for a fact that shapewear is necessary for bridal. Bridal is not something that you can just put on a dress and be okay with. You have to wear shapewear, especially if you are a curvier 
woman so i would like to get some some appropriate shapewear that will have me snatched but also comfortable um i'm open to spanx i was gonna order the skims one but like like the full body skims one but um all that stuff is sold out like skim i, I don't know the last time skims has restocked their shapewear because i have the skim shorts and the thong but I want the one that kind of like, I thought she had one that had like a low back and like strapless or whatever, because I'm still not sure if I'm gonna do a strapless dress or if I'm gonna do sleeves or not. Um, you know, my girls be sitting up, so I be needing something that, I, I need something that is really going to, you know, get me together, all the way together, okay? Um, but before we do anything, you already know I need gas. I'm really excited. Jeff and I tried on wedding bands yesterday and Jeff was saying that he just wanted a plain gold ring but as soon as he saw there was a ring that um like as soon as he put it on like we saw it we had always seen these rings with diamonds in them and with the diamond channels or whatever and like he was like oh, I don't really want that but as soon as it got on his finger he was like he started to like it is what I'm trying to say so like um I think we picked, I'm pretty sure the ring we picked out is going to be, we picked out two rings for him, a work ring and a, an actual wedding ring. And then um, we also picked out a band. Now, if you guys know me or if I, I don't know if I've explained this to you on my channel or anything, I, um, I never wanted a matching set. So Jeff did not buy me and I made it very clear to Jeff for a very long time that whenever we got married like i sent him inspo pictures of what i was talking about so i love like the cartier band the cartier flat love band um bridal set kind of look like it's very mismatched but it's very like the girls that get it get it but i wanted that kind of look now the cartier band i'm not necessarily like 100 percent. i need to have a cartier band I would not mind having a band that's like the Cartier band because it was just like, when you get a Cartier band, you're just really paying for the name. And it's like, it's cool and all. It's cool to have it. But at the end of the day, it's like, I, I don't know. So Jeff and I said that we would still go try the Cartier love band on. But the love band, like for what we would pay for these three bands, the, the two that he tried on and the one that I tried on, we would get, we would get, three for the price of almost one love band so i don't know we basically try, i tried on a band yesterday that was basically like the love band just it does not have the the um the actual like love letters on there the little e's or whatever and i'm okay with that because I, it's it's more of the look that i was going for the flat the very flat band like i like that wide not too wide but still wide enough flat band flat square look on my finger especially with the teardrop ring that Jeff got me like I feel like oh it's shining too she cleaned my ring yesterday oh it always catches me out guard because you're supposed to wear teardrops pointing to your heart so I'm hoping that with that the way it sits on the band, it just, it looks so good yesterday. It looks so good and I know, and I know me, like I'm a label whore y'all. Like I, I don't like, I don't have to have all labels, but I am kind of a label. Mm -hmm. And I know when we try on a Cartier band, I'm gonna be like, I want the Cartier band, but we have an option. So I, we need to go try on the Cartier bands prop very soon so we can make the decision. But I'm pretty sure we made our decision yesterday but I still like the Cartier band. But then I don't think the Cartier band comes in Jeff's ring size. So that's another problem. So I don't know, we will see. We will see, I know that I, I like, I have decided that like I don't want diamonds in my wedding band with the gold wedding band. I don't need diamonds in it because there's like, because my, my engagement ring is so stacked, like it literally makes my engagement ring pop if we, if I get just a flat gold band. And I'm okay with that, like, and how about the, the even the gold band was cheaper than the one with diamonds for him. That Like that's crazy to me, I just don't understand like why that is, but 
whatever. Uh, you know, we'll figure it out. I gotta lock the door. Every time I come to the gas station. Oh, it was only $58 to fill my tank up today, so that's good. I think the gas is 358 over here by my house, so that's really good. Okay, you guys, so I'm at the store. I didn't really get the chance to film coming in here, um, but they just asked me a lot of questions. I told them that, you know, I'll come here. Um, I'm getting married, and I'm going wedding dress shopping, and I would like something that has a is strapless but because i don't know if i'm gonna wear straps or not so um, that was important to me and so um i asked them if something had like a low back which i didn't have but honestly i don't think i'm gonna have my back out anyway so um she gave me this to try on and i'm about to try this on oh child i got it on don't worry they ignore this because i just my hands hurt by the time i got to this one my hands was hurting but uh, this is what the shape wear is looking like. It definitely it covers my. And so I didn't have like the straps up. She said, but when you put it on, put it on with the straps first when you step into it, and it'll help you get it up the back. She had to help me put my back up, but you know what? Jeff, Ashley, somebody will have to help me. But it's actually pretty comfortable. Um, I usually worry about this line right here, but because of the lace detailing on my thigh, it doesn't like pinch my leg. So that's good. I mean, it's giving body. It's giving real, like, real smooth contoured body. So, yeah, I'm excited to take this with me to my appointment tomorrow. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I paid $120 for that um, shaper and it better be worth the money because that was that was a lot. Um, I feel like I should go home because every time I leave the house I spend $100, so. Hello, vlog. Y'all know I'm always in a rush and I'm always late. Y'all know I'm always late. I'm gonna be on time, I'm so excited. This is my first time trying on wedding dresses, trying to figure out what shape I like. And if I see a dress that I like, you know, we'll talk about it or whatever, but like, it's more of trying to figure out what kind of shape and what kind of dresses I do like. Trying to find my, finding my bridal style. I am rushing. <laughs> I'm gonna be on time. It's only one o'clock, my appointment's at 1.30. I am gonna be on time. Um, but my friend Ashley is meeting me there. Um, so for this appointment, Ashley's gonna meet me there and then I think I'm gonna FaceTime my sister um, during my appointment. And then in November, I plan on having my sister and my best friend, my sisters and my best friend and my mom come down to help me actually choose a dress in that process, okay? So like this is just me trying to figure it out. So don't get all excited and I probably won't show you guys the actual when i do pick a dress i'm not going to show you guys a dress until obviously my wedding day because jeff does watch this channel so it'll be a while before you guys actually see what just what dress i choose but i do want to take you guys along that process especially being plus size i kind of wanted i felt like it was important to just show like um especially plus size on a budget what there is out there so um you know i might not find the dress for me but you might see something that inspires you to go try it on so i encourage you if you're a bride and you're plus size to watch this video and enjoy it sit back relax and i'll see you guys when i get there i have to put my lipstick on and everything As a matter of fact it's a it's a red light so let me at least line my lips because i can do the rest girl rushing and I started getting ready at like 11 o'clock child I was supposed to film a get ready with me for this look but this is like YouTube versus real life like this is real life right here me trying to put my lipstick on rushing to my appointment is real life So we're here, right? And she just asked me a bunch of questions that I don't know the answer to. I realize that I'm not prepared. 
But that's the purpose of today's appointment. So I did good. Yeah. <laughs> Sure, I came here. You're gonna be overly educated by something on what you need. Yeah, she asked me, what did she ask me? She asked me if I wanted straps or not. I don't know. She asked me if I wanted what a train. She asked me if I wanted a train. I didn't even think about the train because I was I know I wanted a a long veil. So that's something to consider. She asked me what else did she ask me? I should have just recorded it. <laughs> she asked me about the top, the lining of the top, and how you would want, you want that. Right. I feel like I do want a sweetheart neckline instead of a straight neckline. Because I have. Yeah. I'm going to try something on with straps. This is going to be outside. She asked me indoor or outdoor. Yeah, she did ask me indoor or outdoor. Um. She said at this place, okay, so I'm at Anaya, Anaya Bridal. She asked me about my budget. Now my budget is all included 1500. That's that's my max, 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 max budget. I told her she can let me try on a $2,000 dress, but I'm not sure. Um, but she said that here they have you, for people that are wondering, they have you try on, they have you put down half and then you can take your time paying it off. So you can pay it in payments or by the time you pick it up or whatever, then you can try it on. Oh my gosh, she's gone. She gone ahead? What is her name? Oh, I forgot her name. Tiffany. Tiffany, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> her name is Tiffany. She's helping us. They got us over here in this area. So. It's just us. This place is cute. It's in like a warehouse. And I noticed when I was pulling up that all the rental places are over here too for like mm -hmm. the venue, the venue stuff and all that stuff like that. The wedding planner is next door. Yeah, I think this is like a wedding row, if you will. So I'm excited to try some stuff. I'm gonna put you guys up probably in this chair over here. on that Cause I forgot the, the thing to the iPad, to the, the tripod. I was rushing out the door cause I'm always late. I saw, a, I saw a TikTok. This girl was like, I'm always the late friend and I'm gonna try it. She's like, I got four hours to get ready and I'm gonna try to get ready. She's like, this is all the things I have to do. And she was like, I'm gonna see how long it takes me to get ready. And it was still late. She was still late. So were you? No, I wasn't, I was on time. You were late. My appointment was at 1.30. I got here at 1.27. Your text message said that you would be there early and that I would be waiting for you and it was not that. She waited three minutes. You got here at 24? No. 22? I got here at 118. You're, okay, that's not what you told me. I know. Traffic was a lot better. <coughs> yeah, um, but I got here right at 127 when it told me I was coming. Are a little nervous? I am a little nervous. later in the afternoon so a few hours later actually so sushi and i are on our way to go bring jeff some dinner i ordered him a pizza that's what he said he wanted um my neighbors are obviously having a party on our street but um my appointment went so well i actually really think that i found my dress which i did not expect to do i thought i was just trying to figure it out but i've learned a lot of stuff like I learned a lot so I think it's important to know that like when you're before you go to your bridal appointment like you should really know like at least you should know like what time of year you want to get married and like what kind of venue you're looking for because what you wear um, is definitely affected by the time of year, where you're getting married, everything. So like, for example, I tried on like a satin dress that was beautiful. It was gorgeous. But I think we're getting married outside and we're definitely getting married like on a, like a patio or something like that. We just know that we're getting out married outside. We don't know where we're getting married at yet. We haven't secured the venue, but like we know that we're getting married outdoors and so because of that um that was something that i had to take into consideration um 
I tried, and so the satin dress was more for like somebody that's getting married in a church. And like, it was good to have um, Ashley there to kind of help me remind me of that because she loved that dress. Like, when I show you guys, like the actual, when I sit down and do my, the dresses I did not pick video, um, the dresses I didn't pick video, when I sit down and do that, you guys are gonna be so like, oh, okay, like, why I didn't pick it? I also tried on a dress that had like a stretch, um, stretch, what should you call it? It was called a stretch, stretch something. Stretch, it's like a stretchy material, like, like you know, like a stretch mesh or whatever. So it was like a stretch mesh material and that one those dresses are very breathable they're really for somebody like wants to dance a lot and stuff like that um but the thing is with those dresses can you sit down please the thing is with those dresses is that um with the stretch dresses as a plus size woman they're not very flattering they kind of cling to every curve of your body even if you have um even if you have uh what's the stuff shapewear on it kind of they just they're very very clingy you know and and also I didn't feel like it was like you know I was looking for something that was more age appropriate for me you know I'm a little older I'm 33 years old or whatever I'm not a very young bride um I wanted something fun but I wanted something that showed my body the curves of my body but like I know that I did not like the bottom of of um of mermaid dresses mermaid dresses most mermaid dresses have tulle at the bottom and i just i'm not with mermaid dresses and we were trying to figure out what kind of fit and flare like because so there's fit and flare there's trumpet there's mermaid um and i was thinking that maybe trumpet might be more of what i what i like and i i do believe that trumpet is more of what i like but i really loved the fit and flare like fit and flare uh perfect for me for my body type even at this size even if i don't lose any weight like the fit and flare was perfect for me so i tried on different ones i knew that i did not want my back out like as much as i can work out my back and stuff like that i just did not want my back out because i wanted a dress for me it was more about feeling secure and feeling like I could, one, I could be in this dress all night, but I wanted to feel secure in it. And I just didn't want something that like, I had to really be insecure about my back and waistline and all this stuff like that. Like, I also knew that I didn't want the straight across back. I realized that I want like the, the V cut back, which was beautiful on me. Man, they had me in there looking good. I'm not gonna lie. Veils are super expensive and like, there are different types of veils. Like I didn't know that there were more, um, there are different types of sheerness to a veil. And like, um, I knew I wanted a cathedral length veil, but I knew like when I tried on the first veil, like it was so, it wasn't sheer enough. And like, I knew I loved buttons down my back. Like I love the look of buttons and uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's enough. That's a little. That's just a little sneak peek of what I went through. I don't know when I'm gonna upload that video, but yeah, like I'm, I'm excited. Like today was actually the first day I really, truly felt like a bride, man. I really felt like a bride today, and I really felt special. And I can't wait. I made my appointment, my next appointment for November, for my family to come so that they can help me, like truly make the decision on the dress and like any kind of final touches. Um. But yeah, so when they come down, I'll show them that dress and we will figure it out. I have to show you guys my dress that I have on. It's from Forever 21. This is what I wore to my appointment today. Isn't it cute? I feel like it's very cute. Yo, I just want to be very transparent about how I feel about Jeff right now. <laughs> Jeff is one of those people that take his time to do everything. And it drives me crazy. Don't be a hitter. It literally drives me crazy. I do not do this. Like, he's not a person that can just throw I, I on something do I don't and do we can things. just go get something to eat. Like, you know, he he's not one of those don't people. Don't listen to her. Oh, my battery's going down. Oh, 
you have to choose. He's just not one of those people. And now I need to go get my battery because my, my camera's dying. Jeff wanted me to tell you guys that I'm wife mean. Is that what you said? Yes, wife mean. Wife mean. What a, define wife mean. Wife mean is when your wife gets easily irritated by the simplest things that you do simply because you're her husband or fiance or boyfriend. And she's like, dang, he get on my nerves. Oh my God. Why are you breathing so loud? Why but it wasn't that you like were breathing that? loud. It's that, that you, you take your oh so precious time and you knew I was hungry. I don't take my time, baby. You, you do take, take your time. time. I was dressed before you. You be lying. <laughs> you just be lying. You were not dressed before me. Uh, not this time. I've been dressed. But more often than not, when we're getting ready to go somewhere, baby, I'm always finished first. And, it's, and I don't take my sweet time. Today, you're a little bit hangry. And, and I'm sorry um, that, I, you know, I always have to prepare when we go and uh, eat somewhere. It ain't, you know. But uh, but I, I I got you. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get you to some food, baby. I love you. I love you too. But she is wife me. She is. I'm wife me. Yes. Am I wife me in this moment, or am I always wife me? Sometimes you're wife me. But that's okay because like other women are gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. And the men are definitely gonna know what I'm talking about. And I I I know what you're talking about. I understand. Today I acknowledge it. That's so sweet. That's the first time. No, I acknowledge it today because you've been getting on my nerves. <laughs> you've been getting on my nerves all morning. Not all morning, but as soon as I said I wanted to go get something to eat, at that moment you started getting on my nerves because I knew you was going to take your time. Even when I said, baby, don't do too much. You know, we're just trying to, you know, just trying to go get something to eat. I'm just, you know, I just want to go get some breakfast. I didn't even bother you until 11 o'clock. I've been up since 7. I should have put you somewhere where no one could find you. Mansion out in the sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. Cause you got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. I don't know how this vlog is going. I really don't know how this vlog is going. I'm going to try my best to keep the timestamps on the vlog. But I think this is about to be a two week vlog because I made the Savannah vlog separate. I started another vlog when I came back. I never really like vlogged that much, so whatever. But today is Friday. Today is September, I believe today is September 8th or 7th, hold on. What is this? Maybe it's the 9th. What day is it? The 9th. Today is September 9th and um, I'm home. I, I'm, now, a decision that I've made recently is that I'm not working on Fridays no more. Not at my job anyway. Like, and the reason why is because I can, but I needed time to be able to dedicate. I need a day to dedicate to YouTube. I really, really do. And so Fridays are now my YouTube day um, because I still want to go back to filming fashion content, lifestyle content, organization, because I'm trying to live a more organized life. You guys know that. But um, there's a lot of sit down content that I want to film and I have not had time to do that at all. I've been doing vlogs and the vlogs are cool. The vlogs are fun to make, but that's, I don't want my, I want my channel to be multifaceted. And so this is the continuation of a vlog. This will probably go up on Sunday. So we're going to continue out the weekend. It's the following weekend um, after Labor Day and um, I'm getting ready to just make some breakfast. I am uh, doing some laundry and washing some dishes and I'm going to get my hair together because my braids are still good. I just gotta like freshen up my front. So I'm going, I'm waiting on an Instacart order to get here. Um, from some stuff with Sephora that I ordered and then um, I'm also waiting 
I want to do a shower routine. I want to do a couple of videos. Like I want to do a empties video, like the summer's empties, the, like products I used all summer that I'm going to continue to use. I'm also going to do an anti-haul, which is like, I'm really excited about, which is um, products that I've purchased that I've tried and it didn't work out. Like uh, there was no point y'all overhyped me on. So it's gonna be an anti-haul. My friend Courtney has been asking me to do an anti-haul for, for years. She's been asking me to do an anti-haul for years. So I'm definitely doing one of those. I'm excited to do that. I'm gonna film that today. And then I really wanna film a video about the dresses that I tried on but I didn't pick. So I'm gonna film that video. I'm gonna try my best to film that video today as well. And that'll be like my batch content over the next few weeks. Um, I am gonna still be vlogging and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about just having a day in the week to dedicate to my content. <sighs> Cause girl, the channel is growing. Have y'all seen that the channel is growing? If you're new to my channel, like, if you're new and if you're an OG, like, cause I've been doing this for a few years now and I'm really confident now, but like, like if you're here from like my first viral video, which was my, my Forever 21 swimwear video, shout out to you. If you're here from before that, when I attempted like Vlogmas and like hip hop dining room and all of other stuff like that, like shout out to you if you've been here from the beginning, okay? But yeah, so I really found like my corner of the internet and I'm really excited about that. So um, there's a guy here that's fixing Jeff's car. So he took my car today. So everything I'm doing today is via online ordering. <laughs> The guy is here fixing Jeff's car, and um, we so we switched cars today so that his car could get worked on, and which is nice because if they finish it in a decent time, we can go to IKEA and go get me a dresser because God knows I need a dresser. I'm watching uh, like some vlogs. I like Curly Chris. I like her vlogs. We love a Sephora bag at the front. <laughs> Thank you. One thing about me, I'm gonna pay for convenience, okay? Let me show you guys what I got. I got, that's why I haven't taken a shower yet either. I got a refill of the brown sugar body polish from Fresh. I'm going to talk about this in my empties video. Girl, this is so freaking good. This is so, this is, Fresh snapped on this, okay? Like, it's so good and there's not enough in it. Like, honestly, they need to make a bigger one. I wish they made a bigger container because I would totally buy a huge one of these. This is top five body scrubs of all time. Yeah, like the girls were right about this one. The girls were right about this one. Um, I bought the Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser. I've been needing a new, um, gel cleanser so i got this one i've seen a couple people talk about it on youtube so i want to try this one i also am going to be reporting back about the fenty soap bar this is the coco cleanser cleansing bar i'm gonna report back because i don't i'm not really a a bar cleanser person but i will try it also got a refill of the necessary this is definitely going on my empties video um the necessary body wash. Oh, Got a refill of the necessary body wash. And then I'm not really a primer girl, but I wanted to try it. So I got a little mini of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And that's all I got. So now we are about to get ready to start filming. So I'm about to go take a shower, do some skincare, and then we're going to get set up and ready to go. Now you want to shoot with the head and the bottom back. You know I like when you 
and I've, I've realized that I have to show you my skin in a different light because it's not giving it justice like at all. That light in there is not doing it for me. Now that's a skincare routine for your girls, okay? Yeah, my skin looks good. It's about time for laser hair removal treatment, but we'll get there. Um, now, I almost don't want to put makeup on. My skin looks so good. Mm, I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on because I need to film. I really do need to film this video. It's been nice vlogging, but I actually gotta get the work done. Anyway. What should I film first? Should I film the anti-haul first? Or should I film... Yeah, I think it's going to be the anti-haul. Now, the thing is, I don't know if I should divide the anti-haul up into... Like a series? Or should I do all of the sections at one time? I'm almost thinking a series. Because I got a lot of stuff that I don't like. That I wasted my money on. Let me set y'all up. Did y'all like the angle of the last video? Instead of doing it like this way, I filmed this way. This way, like this corner right here. Did y'all like that? I need a, I need a dresser so bad, y'all. This top is cute. It's from White Fox from Target, but it's too big. It's way too big. I got a 2X. And White Fox, like, they be hit or miss with the sizes sometimes. I don't know what they got going on. to turn my lights on and get myself together hold on mm. you know I finally get my day started I beat my face down and they're doing yard work this reminds me of when I lived in my apartment and they were always doing yard work when I was trying to film but this is how my makeup turned out I even put a little eyeshadow on my eyelids I don't know if you can tell but I think I look cute, especially on camera. It's like photographing very well on camera. Let me try to blend out under my eyes just a little bit more. This is just a clean brush. I'm just trying to, yeah. Well, I think it looks cute. If it don't look cute, oh well. I feel cute. I look cute. Mm. This is all the stuff for my anti-haul. I don't know if I'm going to do my anti-haul or my faves first. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the anti-haul first. Because I got a lot to say. Okay. But I can't do anything until Mr. Lonnie's done outside. So we'll film that when we get a chance. It'll probably be a few hours later by the time I see y'all again. Okay, so Mr. Lon is finally gone. I get ready to film and I realize that my batteries for my camera is dead. And I have like six batteries for this camera and they're all dead. So at this point, like I'm feeling like I might have failed and I'm really hoping I didn't because my face is so cute. I have to film something. But why have I not been using primer? Because like even this is not foundation. This is... um the tinted moisturizer and it's literally giving skin i don't know am i overhyping myself i'm gonna have to look at the footage but like i feel like i can definitely see a difference between using primer and not using primer for sure i beat my face down if anything if, if i don't feel anything today jeff and i have to go on a date even if it's just around the corner like we have to go do something because i no. Mm -mm. yeah no I think I want to go to Juicy Crab. There's a Juicy Crab that just opened near our house, and I think I want to go there. Mm -hmm. I have some drinks. Yeah, today's Friday. Mm -hmm. I wonder where he's at. He said he was off work. Um. Yeah. So I just dumped all of all of my footage. Like, literally all of the footage for the year. I dumped it onto my hard drive, so that's good. So January, February, March, April. I think I, I don't know if I filmed anything in May. Maybe I just didn't film anything in May. But I have June, July, August, and September. So the only month I'm missing is May. I, I find it hard to believe that I didn't film anything in May. But I might, that might have been the time where I got my new phone. And I think it was. When I got the phone, the new iPhone, 
I was like doing a bunch of like TikTok vlogs and stuff like that. So all of the footage is probably on my TikTok. But I feel like I look really pretty. We gotta go somewhere and do something. I don't know, even catch a movie, but there's no good movies out. But yeah, anyway, like I feel like if anything, I'll just I'll just literally redo this exact same look tomorrow. And that'll be fine too. And we'll just have to film tomorrow. But I think I wanna make a little charcuterie bowl. I've been loving charcuterie type things because I found like the things that I like on the charcuterie board because I'm really picky. So I don't really like like raisins and stuff like that and those jams and different kind of cheeses and stuff like that. I'm real simple. So I'm gonna make just a little, I have some stuff to make the kind of bowl that I would like to make. So hold on, let me show you guys. So just take one of these meal prep bowls and I'll put me some apples. I'm gonna put some apples in there, some grapes. I have these cheese cubes from Cracker Barrel. I got some turkey, y'all. Jeff just walked in the house. He looks so cute. Look at him. Hey, baby. Got the fit right there. Got the, what's some, what's some shoes called again? Cole Hans. Cole Hans. Wow. Got the Cole Hans right there. How you doing, baby? I'm doing good, baby. Don't I look crude? You is so crude when I tell you. And I was about to film. Yeah, like My batteries are dead. Motherfucker. <laughs> So I might have to film tomorrow, okay. but that's okay. You want to go, but since I have makeup on, do you want to go to Juicy Crab? It is, I mean, it's right there. I mean, it's right there. Come on. Like, do you feel like going like in your work clothes? I'm or good like Cause this. I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, I'm good like this. Cause I'll just put something on real quick. Baby, I'm gonna look bummed. Baby, I don't- For real, we can go. Cause Tiago plays at uh, seven. So you wanna watch it there, you wanna watch it here? I wanna watch it here, okay. but I just wanna be, you know, like, you know, be comfortable. All right, there. Well, why are you getting dressed? I'm gonna Come here. Real quick. Can I, can I? Ooh, you look so good. I look crude. Okay, okay, I don't wanna get a whole bunch of glossy. Mm. I love you. I don't wanna get makeup on your shirt. Take it and I roll it up. Put some of these on there. And these are dark chocolate covered almonds, a staple in our home. And I have these um, everything but the bagel crackers from Trader Joe's. These right here, these are pretty freaking good. And this is the end result of my little charcuterie bowl. Ooh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Mm. All right, so this is my outfit. I have some wide leg, like super wide leg jeans. I got these from one of these boutiques here in Georgia. I don't know the name of it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I've had them for like two years now. Um, the Fosachi shirt is from either Boohoo or Pretty Little Thing, one of those. Um, Black Telfar, I um, smell like um, ebony wood is what I'm wearing. It's a little cooler outside, so I figured I'd wear long pants. Yeah, so that's the outfit. And we're about to go eat because I really want to make it back in time to watch Francis Tiafo play. Jeff has dubbed him Tennis Bay, which I did not do that. He swears I have a crush on him, but I really be voting, just rooting for everybody black, so. You ready, baby? Because who I really got a crush on is, he live with me. Or I live with him. We live together. He cute. Try one of them crab brews. Y'all, what is, what is date night without drinks? This Juicy Crab is so new that they don't have the liquor license yet. My makeup looks fucking good. My makeup, like, I, my makeup looks really good. I took my time today, too. Like, it's looking like it's giving skin. See my ring, y'all? Let's see if it gets some good lighting. Oh, yeah, 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 it's dancing, Olivia. I'm trying to catch the light.
Oh, let me address that in the vlog. Hold on. First of all, y'all, if you guys watch my shorts, sometimes I upload shorts on to YouTube. They might be, most of the time they're old TikToks or whatever, but I uploaded a video that I made when I first got engaged, and it was the little Make His Pockets Hurt video, right? And somebody wrote this stupid ass comment. I'm gonna post it, I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna put it right here. Somebody wrote this comment, talking about some Walmart special. First of all, your man could never, okay? Okay? Don't try to play me and mine, okay? The, the, like, YouTube, y'all y'all get a little too comfortable on this platform. And y'all not gonna play me. This real diamonds, okay? That's all we do over here is real diamonds, okay? That's it, period, okay? We don't, we don't do fake diamonds, we don't do no Walmart special. It's funny that that is the comment that was made. I said because we joke about Walmart rings all the time. That was something that we joked about a lot. Like, <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, we joked about, that was a running joke with us about the whole Walmart ring or whatever. Like, Jeff would say like, would you, you wouldn't say yes if I proposed to you with a, a Walmart ring. And I told him, I feel like I deserve more than a Walmart ring. And the reason why I would not accept a Walmart ring, because all you girls are playing on social media, all these like, oh, I would accept anything. I would no, y'all are full of it. Because I'm not I will not accept a ring that's less than a pair of sneakers that you wear on your feet every day. You got sneakers that cost more than them rings at Walmart. Okay. You blow a bag. <laughs> Listen, look at him. You blow a bag on some Walmart on some sneakers, but won't won't I won't spend the money on someone that deserves a beautiful ring. Don't do it. You got six months pay. Okay. Don't try to play me. I deserve my ring, and it ain't no damn Walmart special. I will not let you disrespect my ring like that. Okay? Ain't no damn Walmart special. It's not some Walmart special. That really pissed Jeff off. Okay? <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't play. Don't play. Don't play with mine. Okay? Period. <laughs> This is the, I'm not gonna lie, Dierra put me onto these. Dierra is the reason why I eat these rings. These rings are so good. Woo! I should have asked for extra sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Having us a little cocktail at home. Jeff is making him a Jack and Coke. And I have me some Pinot. Because, of course, we couldn't have drinks at the place, so. Which sucked, really, because we could have been drunk by now. <laughs> But that's okay. Salute. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Good morning, vlog. Um, I should have filmed yesterday when I had the makeup on because I really, I don't even, I don't feel like doing nothing today. Like nothing. It's raining like real bad. <laughs> and so, um, but I did get some, some of my Amazon order. I'm gonna open this. I'm in my bathroom because um, these are my shelves. My little shelves for my shower. That everybody, uh, like, it comes across my Amazon ads all the time. So I'm hoping these hold all my stuff. I'm actually thinking about putting one of them on my mirror to hold my skincare so we'll see how that turns out but this is them these are actually pretty big okay peel off the film after you have confirmed the position to install it over right here here this is tile so Ugh. I think that's even enough. Give me that. Okay. All right, we in there. So let's start putting stuff. That's actually very, very strong. So this is what it looks like. That was actually very easy to install. So now I think I'm going to try to put it, the other one on my mirror so that one, I can put you guys up, and two, maybe like right here in the middle of the mirror, I can put my skincare and stuff. Like right, right in the middle, that way I can put you guys up as well. 
We'll see. We'll come back because my battery is dying, of course. All right. So, the skincare is up. I still have room in the mirror. You know what I mean? The skincare is up on the mirror, though. And it holds really well. Like, this is a really good... This is definitely going on my faves. And then, the plus is now, when I'm in here talking, I could just put you guys up here. Yeah, that's way better. The next thing I need to do is change the lighting in my bathroom and I need to get some jars for like my cotton pads and my toothpicks. I'm gonna lay down for a little bit because I'm gonna go back to bed. So I'll see you guys when I wake up. <laughs> I'm a rookie in a vet. Shout out to the bitches I ain't holding down the set. All up in my phone looking at pictures from the other night. She gonna be upset if she keeps scrolling to the